Okay, Daniela, this one's one of my favorites. It's all good fun. Because believe it or not, cards are able to talk to us. That's why they have things called tarot cards, that the cards can tell you your future and what's going on. Now, these cards have a message. We're going to ask these cards what the message is. Now, quite simply, all we're going to do, as you can see, it's a 10, the jack, the queen, the king, the ace, all of the same color. Now, we'll just place them on top of each other nice and quickly, and we're going to ask them a very simple question. And let's see if they can answer us. Now, um, to do this, Daniela, I'd like you to decide on which pile you would like. Great, hold that pile in your hand facing upwards. Now, Daniela, you have the choice of if my cards must be upside down or if your cards must be upside down. My cards upside down. Turn your cards upside down then, fantastic. Now, Daniela, what's going to happen is we're gonna ask the cards. We're gonna ask them, will the cards match? Now, when we ask them this question, it's a few words. It's, will the cards match? It's four words we're asking them. And within every single word, there are some letters. So in the word will, there's W-I-L-L. -L. Now, with each word, you can decide if I should place a card underneath or if you should place a card underneath. So I will give you all the choice in the world, and then we'll get a sense of if the cards are going to match. So for will the cards match, the first word is will. So W, you or me? Me. Take the first card at the top and place it at the bottom. I, you or me? Me. Take the top card and place it to the bottom. L, you or me? Me. Take the top card and place it to the bottom. And the last letter, L, you or me? You. Okay, now take that top card, keeping it facing down, put it down right over there. Okay, so that's will. Okay, the, T, you or me? Me. Okay. H, you or me? E, you or me? You. Take that top card, place it over there, facing downwards. Cards, C, you or me? Me. A, you or me? Me. R, you or me? You. D, you or me? You. S, you or me? You. Okay, great, place that card facing downwards over there. Thank you. Match, M, you or me? Me. A, you or me? Me. T, you or me? C, you or me? Me. H, you or me? Me. Great, place that card facing downwards on the table. Now let's have a look and see what happens with these cards if they're going to match. Let's feel the energy, let's see what's going to happen, bang, and they do match. Isn't that incredible? You had all the say, yet these cards are giving us this message. And that's not all. Let's have a look and see the rest of the cards, what happens. King and a king. The ten and the ten. The ace and the ace, and let's have a look. The jack and the jack. And that's Will the Cards Match? This effect was invented by Larry Becker. It's very simple and self-working. All you need to do is make sure the cards are matching. Another way of doing, which I'll show later, is to just take five cards and tear them in half. We'll talk about that just now. Let's just first do this routine, and then I'll show you the other version. So you start off with five cards that just match with the same color. So you can do clubs and spades, or spade hearts and diamonds. Now all you do is make sure that they keep in the same order. So 10, jack, queen, king, ace. Same with the next pile. 10, jack, queen, king, ace. Now, as you say, you can decide if they turn a pile upside down or you do. One of the piles has to be the other way, opposite to the other pile. So as you grab your pile, it doesn't matter which pile you grab, and it doesn't matter which one is upside down. So do you want to turn yours over? Now, this is self-working. As you explain, it's those words, will the cards match? But it is because the, let's, the word will has four letters. You can find other words which have four letters and it will also work. So you can find your own sentences. It's actually a matrix effect. What actually happens is these cards are going downwards while these cards are going upwards and they'll match. Now because there's five cards here, when you say the word will, it's going to be taking away four, so you'll be catching back up to the other side. But forget about how it works. It's a self-working trick. All you have to do is sit with someone else, and no matter who takes a card upside down, it will always work. So let's go for it. Will the cards match? W, you or me? Me. Go for it. I, you or me? Me. L, you or me? Me. And L, you or me? Me. Now you've done all of them. Place that card facing downwards over here. And as you see, the first card already matches. 
Now, obviously, you won't do this when you do the trick. You'll keep that card facing downwards. The, T, you or me. You. H, you or me. Me. E, you or me. You. Take that card, keep it facing downwards, put it over there. And as you can see over here, this one also matches. Let's go to the next cards. C cards, you or me. Me. A, you or me. You. R, you or me. You. D, you or me. Me. S, you or me. Me. Take that top card, face it face down over here, and as you can see, the queens now match. And the last one, match. M, you or me. Me. A, you or me. Me. T, you or me. You. C, you or me. You. H, you or me. Me. Take that top card, put it down over there, and as you can see, this one matches. And let's do the last one. You basically put these cards together here and show some type of special magic happening, and bang, it turns into a pair. Now you act as if this is all that there is. So this is already astounding. Then you take it to the next level and say, well, let's have a look at the rest. And you show them all as matching. Whichever way you feel like making them match, simply you'll just like rub them together and they match as well. Whichever way you feel appropriate, or you could just turn them over, these cards match. And as again, you can see those cards match. That's a one way of showing will, will the cards match. Another way of doing the will the cards match is to take any five cards. They don't have to be uh, any specific cards. They can be any color. And now all you do is put them together and tear them in half. Now just tearing them in half in front of people can astound people already. So now you've got two halves. Now all you do is exactly the same thing. You get them to decide which half gets turned upside down. So choose a half and it works exactly the same. The nice thing about this is you can talk about that these cards want to get together. They've been broken apart and now they're heartbroken and they need to connect again. And you'll do exactly the same routine as we go again. Will the cards match? Hold the cards. So W, you or me? Me. I, you or me? Me. L, you or me? Me. L, you or me? You. Okay, take the top card, put it down over here. The T, you or me? Me. H, you or me? You. E, you or me? You. Put that card face down over here. Now remember to watch them carefully to make sure they put their cards underneath, otherwise the whole effect is ruined. Cards, C, you or me? Me. A, you or me? You. R, you or me? me. D, you or me? Me. And S, you or me. You. Take the top card, place it down over there. Match, M, you or me. Me. A, you or me. Me. T, you or me. Me. C, you or me. You. H, you or me. You. Take the top card, place it down over there. And again, the same type of thing, just rub them. They want to get back together. And bang, you show them that they're now getting back stuck together again. And as you've done that, you'll continue saying, wow, these cards are also wanting to get back together so the cards will inevitably match.